Hey everyone, it's like Christmas morning here at Earthworks. I got a new toy to play with. It is Fox Farms Cocoa Bop planting mix. I have not yet seen or touched or smelled or looked at the contents of this bag. So I'm gonna be opening up right now to see what's inside. So this product was designed so that you plant right in the bag. So I'm gonna open it up here first. See what's inside. Well, looks like potting soil. You get a shot of that there. Nice and dark. It's got some really coarse perlite in here, which looks really good. Yeah, smells fresh. I don't know if I'm the only one who loves the smell of potting soil. I don't know if it's the smell of potting soil that I like so much as just knowing that I'm going to be planting something. But I'm going to fold these back here just a little bit. And I've selected some tomato varieties that we're going to experiment with and uh, we'll give some updates on the tomatoes here as they grow. I planted some tomatoes at home several weeks ago and they have like more than like quadrupled in size. And I planted all those in the Happy Frog by Fox Farm. And I've always had really good results with the Happy Frog. So I'm excited to see how the Cocoa Bop does with the tomatoes. I've picked two. Uh, heirloom varieties here of tomatoes. The first one is the black crim, which is more of a slicing size tomato. It's not a giant, like a big beef steak, but they do get pretty good size, uh, several ounces. And then my other, this one is actually one of my favorite cherry tomatoes, which is the midnight snack. And the midnight snack is going to uh, blush kind of a blackish purple color uh, when they're ripe and they are so delicious. I'm gonna plant that one first. So. We got actually three tomato plants in here. This is gonna be a wild ride. We're gonna have to find somewhere where I can set this bag and then we're gonna put some stakes in the ground to support these things. If you've ever grown cherry tomatoes, you know how vigorous they are when they grow. The black crim can uh, be pretty wily as well. So I'm just digging a hole with my hands. I kind of prefer it. And I'm gonna dig it extra deep. So you can see these long stems here. I'm gonna bury this tomato plant uh, beneath the soil a few inches. So that way the roots, uh, the roots will develop on the stems. So if you have never done this before, if you purchase store-bought uh, tomato plants and they're long and leggy, even if they're not extra long and leggy, you can always plant them below the soil line uh, to help encourage uh, some vigorous rooting along the stems. Tomato plants are adapted to do that quite well and it will speed up your uh, root development. So I'm gonna go a little extra deep so you can see there, I'm below the soil line. And I'm gonna backfill it gently. But everywhere the soil covers and touches those stems, it's gonna begin rooting and rather quickly. So it'll help strengthen the plant and give it more points to draw in nourishment. And it also um, helps these young plants not be so long and leggy so they're less likely to bend and snap and blow around. Um, with these breezes that we get here in Florida along the coast, it can be an issue with plant snapping, which has definitely happened to me before, especially if you're not uh, using stakes and supports for the tomatoes. And, and then once they have the, the weight of the fruit on there, it can be a, a big issue. I have lost many sections of vines of my tomato plants due to the wind and just the over overload of the weight of the tomatoes once they're on the vine. Nothing more frustrating than having a cluster of tomatoes uh, snap off the vine. All right, so the black crim is another one that blushes kind of a dark red, kind of gives like a brownish color sometimes. Um, very delicious. Actually, this one's got some flowers on it already see those there. All right, I'm gonna flip this upside down. Wow, it's gonna rough up the roots just a little bit to encourage some uh, lateral growth here sooner than later. Just roughen them up a little bit. This one I'm also planting just a little extra deep. And it's really that simple. And it looks like the volume of the bag, which I think was 3.8
Yeah, three cubic feet, so there's a lot of volume in here. It's a good sized bag to grow these tomatoes in. We'll see if it's uh, gonna be enough for these two, but I'm pretty sure it is. I usually grow my tomatoes at home in about a seven gallon pot, which is like a 14 inch pot, and that's generally very sufficient. Much smaller than that though, is problematic because they're gonna dry out too quickly once it heats up. So a seven gallon is the smallest I go. I also sometimes, for my more vigorous growers and larger tomato plants, will use as a large as a 15 gallon pot to grow my tomatoes in. Another little trick with tomatoes is they like clay. So once a year, I make a trip up to North Carolina and I actually harvest clay from the soil up there. And that's not the entire reason why I go, but while I'm up there, I do bring empty buckets and a shovel. And I've had people stop me on the side of the trail, like I'll climb off the trail a little bit and I'll have my shovel and I'm filling up a bucket full of clay. But the, the tomatoes really love clay soil. So what I'll do then is I'll pulverize it um, every time I pot up tomatoes at home and I'll put clay dust and little chunks of the clay, mix it into the potting mix. And uh, my tomatoes seem to do pretty well. I don't know if it's because of that or, or what all the variables are, but it's just been something I've been doing for the last several years. So if you're watching this video and you're not in Florida and you have clay soil and you're growing them in containers, get some of that clay soil out of the ground and mix it into your potting mix. I know a lot of people up north are growing it right in the ground. Or if you're a Floridian like me who travels up north, bring an empty bucket and a shovel and fill it up with clay, your tomatoes will thank you. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna watch this midnight snack and this black crim develop here over the next several weeks. I hope by the next time we show you this video, they'll be at least twice the size. I'm not gonna do any ex extra fertilization uh, with this bag. I wanna see what this bag provides this first time that I grow in it, maybe the second time. Uh, I grow in this soil, I'll, I'll supplement with some extra fertilizer, but I wanna see just how far uh, what's in this bag will, how far it'll get these tomatoes. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.